finished off a series win for the Toronto Blue Jays. Four to one, your final score from here at the Rogers Center. And early on, Matt Chapman's two-run home run gave the Blue Jays the lead, and they never gave it up after the second inning. Well, this was about timely hitting, I thought, the home run that you mentioned, but it was the pitching staff. Barrios, seven innings, one run. Then Meza Romano finish it off. The Blue Jays pitchers retire the last 15 Detroit Tigers to sew up the win. Yeah, and I, I think it's just Jose Barrios. And, you know, again, there was four errors committed by the Tigers. They didn't really come in to play, but anytime there's a lot of traffic on the bases, it just makes it that much more difficult, not only on the Tigers pitching, but then somehow trying to create that offense. Toronto maintains its spot as number one in the American League wild card and we'll see what they can do on this upcoming road trip and who joins these two teams who leaves the Tigers it'll be a very interesting trade deadline for everybody involved here. But the Blue Jays continue to win here at home. I mean this is a spirited team. I don't know. I don't want to run into them in the playoffs. Yeah that, a lot of people said that at the end of the season last year that this was a dangerous team. They've got three four starters that they can run out there in the playoffs and to a man the players have talked about about playing your best baseball at the end of the season that's what the Blue Jays are starting to do and if they can get anybody in the trade that could help them at the trade deadline that this could be a dangerous team let's go downstairs Ahmed and Cliff are with Bo Bichette. Thank you, Jason. Bo, congratulations on a, another victory here. You're 11 and 3 since John Schneider took over as interim manager. What's been the difference? Um, you know, I think we're just competing. Uh, that's the name of the game. It's not going to be easy. We got to come out here and compete every day, and I think we're doing doing a good job of that. As far as you in the box, you know, off the All Star break, dog days of of someone here. Hey, he didn't get me though. We good. We good. <laughs> how, how are you feeling in the box? Right, just going up there trying to compete every day and uh, you know I believe in my abilities so uh, just go out and give everything I got and you know I know I'll, I'll uh, contribute to the team. And when, you, and when you look at the trade deadline obviously I don't, I don't know if you pay attention as much as you know some other teams and some other players but when you look at the trade deadline looming do you do, do you wonder well, who's coming through those doors to help y'all get over that hump? Yeah, I mean, we want to win a World Series, so, uh, you know, whoever wants to come and help, um, whatever the front office decides, you know, we'll welcome them in here. Uh, but for me, I don't really look at it too much. I don't know any rumors going on, so we'll see what we see. All right, let's pull some magic right now. Let's just say that you are granted authority to make a move, improve this team. What's the first move you're making? Um, I'm going to leave that up to the front office. The first move <laughs> this is your move. <laughs> yeah, no, my first move is I'll, I'll hand it to somebody else. But, man, uh, yeah. smart man, smart man. Hey, hey, last one. Th this team seems, not that you haven't had fun all year, and obviously winning helps you have more fun, but how does that clubhouse feel right now, and, and what is the general vibe of this team? Yeah, it's a lot more fun when you're winning. So, uh, you know, obviously we're playing well and having fun. And, uh, you know, it's a great group, guys. I mean, everybody has each other's back. Um, you know, it's just a special group to be around. Congratulations on the win, Bo. All righty, thank you. Jason? Ahmed Cliff, thank you. Thanks to Bo Bichette, who was sadly unwilling to tamper uh, here at Rogers Center today. Gentlemen, it was an absolute pleasure sharing some baseball with you. Sure was. Yeah, it was great. I, I know... Uh, had many a battle with you, Pat, but certainly enjoyed it. And uh, hopefully, Jason, I'll see you uh, in one of these Central Division matchups. Sounds great. What a lot of fun. It was a pleasure working with both of you guys. You're both pros, real pros. Well, thank you very much for being on loan, both of you, from your regular network, Dan from Valley Sports, and uh, Pat from Rogers Sportsnet up here. MLB Sunday leadoff continues next Sunday, 11.30 a.m. Eastern. It's the Astros and the Guardians right here on Peacock. For more post-game coverage, stay tuned. Ahmed Farid, Cliff Floyd will wrap up the day. For our entire crew, Matt Borzello, Corey Numi, our entire wonderful group, Dan Petrie, Pat Tabler, I'm Jason Benetti. Thanks for watching MLB Sunday leadoff coverage presented by Uber Eats. The Jays by three.